Okay, here we've got the Gentle Giant Jumbo figure, the SDCC San Diego Comic Convention exclusive Han Solo with the small head. So the regular version comes with the big head, head, head version, and this is the small headed version. And it's still a massive figure. The head just looks, even at this scale, looks quite simplistic and lacks. I think the big headed version just looks better. Uh, it looks more detailed, more has more more sculpting angles in the face. So, but this is the rarer version. This is the harder. This is the convention exclusive. And it's amazing to see this figure at this scale. You can see the detailing in the hands or lack of, and how thin it is looking and then the detailing in the belt, the other hand, and the lack of detail in the trousers, the boots, the lack of shaping in the feet, the massive Han Solo blaster there, really huge there, and then the Kenner card there, or the sort of gentle giant tribute to the Kenner 12 back design. Uh, you notice just there, by the ear of Han Solo, there's a tear in the card. So this one's graded, so it comes in the AFA case. The thing is just huge, huge. And so, funny thing to get graded. I never got this graded, I just bought it, because it was, I mean, this is cheaper than the uh, ungraded versions, this uh, small-headed Han Solo. Postage was expensive though obviously because of the size. Uh, it has the LP sign there, long play, which Kenner had on the 12 backs. And it says Gentle Giant 2011, uh, 12 inch vintage jumbo hound solo small head. Card gets 80, bubble gets 80, because there's a bit of denting at the top there. And the figure gets uh, 90. Wow, this is an amazing item. I just got a small headed Han Solo, so, you know, I mean the real vintage one, the three and three quarter inch figure, and that cost a bomb, but can, this is the cheaper option if you want to get a small headed Han Solo, is just to get the jumbo vintage one. They also got the vinyl cake jar, and that was sold at SDCC as well, so, it looks great this item. And it looks great in the AFA case. The only problem is it's so damn big. Look how big this thing is. Look how huge it is. I've taken some pictures with next to uh, that little 12 bat loop, I mean, the uh, telescoping loop I got, just the action figure, and uh, a uh, Phantom Menace figure, or vintage collection figure, just to give you an idea of how massive this thing is. It's huge. It's good to see the figures in this scale though, because you can just see all the imperfections. But these figures are classic, so that's why, you know, in England you can get them in the model zone for about 55 quid, these figures. Not not this Han, but the other Han, or the more regular versions, the Princess Leia, the Darth Vader. Uh, Forbidden Planet has them as well in London. And I don't know where else you can get them in the UK. Obviously eBay as well. Now, they seem to be cheaper in the States. In the States you can get them for about $40. But, who knows. They're great items. And very displayable. They just look great. That pistol is just huge. Look at it. Massive blaster. Great item, Han Solo, small headed ver ver variant, and I don't know if I'll get any more. I wouldn't mind maybe the Princess Leia and the Luke. The farm boy Luke's quite a hard one to get. But look at that, sculpting perfection. Gentle Giant's done a really good job in upscaling these figures to such a massive, massive scale. Obviously, when I I'll put this 
next to the small my small headed version as well. I'll, I'll cut them together on YouTube. A great figure though. Gentle giant, huge, weighs a ton this one. Okay, this is the back of the gentle giant jumbo headed jumbo Han Solo small head. It says, you know, just like the old vintage car back, but the inch, the height of the figures is quite different. It's in, now they're sand person 12 inches, c 3 is 12 inches, Han Solo is 12 inches, Chewbacca is 12 and a half inches, Vader's uh, 12 and a half inches, Jawa's 7 and a half inches, R2 is 7 and a half as well. And you've got the classic artwork here of the first 12 figures, which is just pure nostalgia for old gits like me. And then you've got how to write, work the lightsaber. So this is the, how the original telescoping saber worked. So push arm lever forward and pull saber out by tip to close. Push tip of saber in and push arm lever back. Okay, at the bottom the card is less retro, it's showing gentle giant projects like this Jabba's Palace with the Boba Fett and the Gamorrean Guard, the Leia Bosch and the Harding Carbonate, Wicket the War Warwick, W Warwick Mini Bust, uh, Cad Bane Bust and Pre Vizsla Bust from the Clone Wars and then it's got all the different logos there. Uh, Startwars.com, Gentle Giant, Hasbro, and Kep. It's made in China. And it says Gentle Giant. And it says on the front, ages 14 and above. Uh, yep, yeah, ages 14 and above in the top corner there. So it's quite interesting that. So that's your Han Solo, amazing item. Jumbo figure, the small headed version. And. Well, it just looks great. Weighs a ton this. Don't know where I'm going to find space to put this. Han Solo giant figure. Classic. The image is just classic. Look at that. Han Solo. Very small head there. Detailing on the waistcoat's quite good. Not too bad on the white shirt. Around the waist, not bad. Then the trousers are pretty lax total any detail. They're just like spandex he's wearing. And the boots. You can see how simple the foot design is. And then the hands are quite simple as well. What a figure. Gentle Giant, small head version, Han Solo, great figure, great tribute to the original line, and there's more and more of these figures coming out, definitely they're, they're starting to do the 20 back figures, so, you know, they've got the potential to do quite a lot of these figures. They're just so big. Where do you put them all? There's the small head. They quickly replaced that head with the big head version because they call this the pinhead version as well. And that's clear to see why. You've got a classic item there from. Yes, the year. Uh, I just love the vintage cards and the vintage figures. The Han, the Luke, and the Leia. Those three are just sweet action figures, if you ask me. Especially the original white outfit Leia. This version of Han plus the Luke original.